Hi, my name is Ethan Nestor, and you're watching Crank Gameplays. Go to I have to do this dot show and get tickets for the tour now. Hello, how are you? Listen, I know what you're thinking, Ethan. Why are you playing Sekiro right now? This game came out in. I am playing Sekiro right now. I'm not gonna play the entire game. I'm not gonna make this a series. Maybe I'll stream more of it depending on what I think of it. But I am currently playing Sekiro because Elden Ring is about to come out and I don't have access to Elden Ring yet. And I've been playing Bloodborne in my free time uh, and it's such an amazing game. And I was like, I don't, I don't know what I wanna record today. I really wanna play Bloodborne really bad but I don't wanna record Bloodborne. And then I was like, I've never tried Sekiro, which this is, as far as I, I'm pretty sure I'm correct in saying this, this is the most recent FromSoft game with Elden Ring coming out in like about a week. I was like, maybe I'll, I'll play a little bit of Sekiro and make a video of it. And then once Elden Ring comes out, obviously, uh, I'm definitely gonna make at least a few videos on Elden Ring. I don't think I'll do an entire series. Elden Ring will probably be much more me maybe making a few videos and streaming more of it and playing it in my own time. But anyway, we're just gonna start a new game and we are going to get into it because I've never played Sekiro before. I've heard it's very, very good. And I've also heard it's very, very hard. And more recently, I've been really getting into Souls type games, mostly with Bloodborne. And again, with this video, and if I make another video, we're probably gonna be focusing less on the story and more about like going around and fighting. I'm very interested to see what the enemies are like in this game though, because one, like I said, I've never played Sekiro, but two, I haven't really watched much of Sekiro either. Um, so I'll be, I'm interested to see how I like it compared to something like Dark Souls or Bloodborne because like one of my favorite things about specifically Bloodborne is like how fantastical the bosses are and like just like the crazy like eldritch horror style kind of monsters. I love that kind of stuff. Very curious to see what the bosses are going to be like because I know I know about one of the bosses. And he's the big monkey boss, and how he, f spoilers, how he fakes you out. Whoa, no, not even a single flinch there. Is this me? Am I the one? Will you join me, starving wolf? Damn, dude. This looks so pretty. Here we go. Ready to fuck some shit up. It's a very stark contrast from like something like Bloodborne. Everything in like Bloodborne and Dark Souls is so dark and like desaturated and grungy. And this is all, like all the colors are very saturated and pretty. Letter thrown into a well, Kuro's wolf. Your destiny awaits you at the tower, at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can still reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. Oh, I can wall jump? That's sick. Oh, that's so cool. That's like one of my least favorite things about Bloodborne. The sprinting and jumping mechanic is dumb. Like I hate how you have to hold circle to run and then to jump, you have to like double tap it. It's just, uh, the... check that it's locked, right? It's certainly locked, but nobody fixed that hole in the wall. Oh. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Whole face is the edge of the cliff. No one could pass through it. Except for me, baby. I do like already how, like, I feel very agile, which is nice. All the other, like, FromSoft games, I always feel kind of slow. Anybody up there? No. Ah, uh, you think that I'm not going to come up here? Well, you're surely mistaken, in it? Hi. Who are you? Hi. Oh. You did well to come here. Look how cool he looks. Oh, here we go, baby. Here we go. Kusabimaru. Probably butchered that. A katana given by Kuro, the divine heir. An heirloom of the Hirata family, a cadet branch ascended from Ashina. 
Uh, once thought lost, it has found its way back into the hands of Wolf. All right. Here we go, baby. Hey. What's up, my guy? A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, baby. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting uh, enemy attacks is another way to damage their posture. Master Shinobi uses a combination of deflect and attack to use the victory. The moment an attack lands, deflect. Okay. Oh, shit! Me likey! Hey, baby. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate you being here. Would you guys like to show me where, uh, counter slash? Counter slash can be performed immediately after defecting an attack. It allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. Come here. Why did I not? Oh! Hey. Did I do it? Maybe. I got him. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown in the red circular markers above their vitality bars. Oh, I'm dead! I've died! But hold on. Shadows died twice, though. Maybe they don't. Am I dead again? Fuck! Come and get me, bitch! Ah! I'm probably going to die again. Fuck! Ah! <laughs> Get your shit rocked, my guy. Thank you. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. A secret treatment path down for generations of these lands. Well, now that we have that, what is this? A fistful of ash? Throw it at an enemy to temporarily distract them. That's kind of fun. Oh, hey everybody. How you doing? No secret passage to the bottom of the moat under the bridge. <laughs> We just got orders to guard it. Oh, security's getting tight. You think they know about me? Hmm? Down here? Me? Right there? War will be upon us soon. Okay. Let's climb up. No, let's be really sneaky. Hey, bud. What are you doing down here? Who are you? Sorry. Look at the butt, though. Look at the cakes on these, dude. Is there anybody? Aw. Oh. I was hoping that I could, like, drop down on somebody. This appears to be the escape route. Call the divine air and, uh, with the reed whistle. Yeah, sure. Whoa, you escaped quick and easily. I guess I, I did kill everybody. So. Except those two guys on the bridge. I did find it. I'm very good at what I do. I definitely did not die. As you can see, because I'm alive. Now we go through the creepy, creepy place. The creepy, creepy dungeon. I can't pull out my weapon at all. Uh-oh. This feels... Not great. Um, if I'm honest. The Divine Air. I feel like this is going to be hard. This must be the first boss. <laughs> Damn, you have starter facial hair too. Jenny Richo. Jenny Chiro? I don't know if I read that right. Is he gonna do the shh and then he's gonna be sliced in half? Alright, here we go. First boss fight. Let's go, baby. That's quick. I feel like. 
and maybe I'm wrong with this, but I feel like this game is a bit more linear. It seems a bit more linear than like Bloodborne or Dark Souls, where like Bloodborne is like very exploration based. It's not like open world exploration, exploration. Jesus Christ. Okay, you're fast. I get it, dude. Can I get a hit off on you? Oh my guy. Wait, is this where my shadows die twice? Well, guys, thank you so much for watching Sekiro. That's the whole game. Thank you so much for watching. It's been uh it's been a good one. So thank you so much. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Nico Amora. Not on my watch. Who are you? Okay, bye. What happens if you beat him? Do you think the air is just like Oh, uh sorry, I didn't I didn't think that you could do that. I don't I guess yeah, I guess we'll just leave then. Alright. There was a bunch of other stuff that probably would have happened, but where are we? Am I gonna get a cool metal arm? What is my arm made out of? I do have a cool metal arm! It's like half bone, half kind of metal, kind of... It looks like it's like made out of stone, some of it. Like I'm a statue. Whoa, you have hairy legs. That's not your fate just yet. Dude, you gotta clip your toenail. Shinobi prosthetic, an artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms, apparently designed... It's like a fucking that guy that used to do the things. It's not... It's not Mr. Gadget. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Mr. Gadget. We have to commune. Sculptor's idols serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Resting at a sculptor's idol will completely replenish vitality and restore the use of resurrection. Additionally, quick items and spirit emblems and storage can be added to your current inventory. With some exceptions, resting will also revive defeated enemies. Uh-oh. I guess there maybe there isn't leveling up in the game. Maybe just like getting better weapons. Because I didn't choose like a class at the beginning or anything like that. The Shinobi Prosthetics Grappling Hook allows to- <gasps> Whoa, dude. Oh. Oh my god! I'm horny! I just use a grappling hook like that? That's so cool. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Hey. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Uh-huh. Oh, shit! Can I grapple people? That would be cool. Oh, what is that? Bye-bye, big boy. Big boss is big hog. Hey, ow, ooh. oh! Would you like a little slice and dice? Thank you. Yes, you would, dude. I'm loving this grappling hook. It is so cool. Whoa, wolf boy. Wolf boy, wolf boy, what do you see? I see a wolf boy that's dead. Oh, shit, there's more. Oh, there's so much more of them. Are you gonna come back? Are you coming back for seconds? Nope, listen, I love doggies more than anything in the whole wide world. But when a doggy comes at me and they've got their teeth bared, right? And they're snarling and they're yapping and they're saying, ey, 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 I'm gonna eat you. That's when I tap out. And that's when my sword taps in. Perilous attacks. Some enemies are unguardable perilous. Use unguardable perilous attacks? Oh man. When they occur, watch carefully and look for a performance to perform a specific response. <laughs> Let's thrust lands deflect before sweep lands jump. For grabs, step dodge. Hey, baby. Oh, shit ass.
Hey. Hey. Oh, shit. I did a fucking flip, my guy. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ass, ass, ass. I'm dead. Wait, but when do my shadows die twice? I'm asking. No, I'm pleading. <gasps> Take my blood and live again. Is this where my shadow dies again? Or I get uh, my shadow lives through me? <gasps> Damn. Resurrect. To stay down after being knocked on the ground surely means death. Safety roll can use a quick fun. That was sick. If I could land a single attack, that would be fucking sick. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you joking me? Well, I'm dead now. I gotta get this guy, right? Oh, oh yeah. Dude, I really wish that I could get a single fucking thing off this guy. Yes, finally. I bested my opponent. A loose prayer bead offering four of them at the sculptor's idol will increase maximum vitality and posture. Currently, Wolf has one bead in his possession. Hell yeah, dude. We use the anal beads to level up. Oh, look at him. So sick. A lot of enemies around here. Whoa, 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 we'll lock onto anyone. Come here. Nice. Okay, just wait one moment. Just one moment. Is there anything that I can do here? Nope. Mm -hmm. Just try and get away from them real quick. Up. Oh. Here I go. Fuck. <laughs> oh! Wait, I can resurrect here? I thought that I already... I thought that I had already used that. Oh, hello! Oh, God. There's way too many fucking people around here. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, my God. Get him. There's too much going on. Where are the other people coming from? I hear other people. I hear things happening. The music is playing. The music is loud. That means there's something happening. What is happening? I don't see anyone. Oh, there's somebody up here. Bye! Hey. Hey, you might. I want you to come in real quick. All right, you come over here. And I beat you with a sword. And I steal your life away from you. And your family has a, a lifetime of sorrow and mourning to process. Because, you know, you've got family at home. And you said to your son earlier, you said, I shall not be back for dinner. I just got a job to do. And then you went out to work. But your job was to kill me. And I said, well, that's no good for me. And I said, well, <laughs> you know, you signed up for this. I signed up. Who's fucking cocky, sis? Who's fucking bloody rooster? It's about to be Thanksgiving for me. I'm going to feather you and I'm going to take you home and make you into a big old stew. All right. Also, I got some comments recently that um, that just made me feel really good. As a person who grew up in New England, I say the term fucking A a lot. And I've gotten a lot of comments of people finding comfort in that. And I think that that's really sweet. And they're just like, oh man, like I say that. 
Not a lot of other people say that. That's so nice to hear. Someone say, f use the term fucking A. Um, but yeah, say that all the time. We use that term a lot in uh, in New England, especially in Maine and Massachusetts. A lot of fucking A's going around there. In the all right. Where are my friends? My friends, I know you're here, my friends. Dude, I feel like it's like it's got like Spider-Man mechanics almost with those kind of kills. Hi there, friend. Oh. There we go. Where's he at? Ceramic shard! Ceramic shard! See, but then we've got things like this, where there's 1,500 guys coming around. And that, that's not something that I like to do. Can they, like, lose sight of me? Fuck. Hey, revive! Die twice! Thank you. Please. Whoever whoever wants to come and try and beat me up. Fucking whatever. But I don't I don't appreciate twice at once. Fuck my ass. Well, I've been playing for uh, a solid hour-ish. I am going to end this one here. Let me know what you think of Sekiro. I had a lot of fun playing this. I would definitely love to play more of this. I don't know if I'll do it in a video, but I think I'll definitely stream this for sure. Over at twitch.tv slash crankgameplays. Links always down in the description. In the description. Also, tour is in less than a month now. So please, 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 if you are in the continental US or in Vancouver or Toronto or anywhere near there, please go to Rip. I have to do this dot show. Uh, go and check it out. There's tons of dates in a ton of different cities. Um, and there's still tickets left in many spots. So please, if you're thinking about coming to horror, please do. I am so proud of the show and I'm, I'm very, very excited to show it to you guys. So go check it out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye.